And while all of that is playing out in the country, the political situation in Benue State is of concern. And that's in spite of several interventions and peace meetings by traditional rulers and other stakeholders. Well, it appears uh, the camp of Governor Hyacinth Alia and the secretary to the government of the Federation, um, Sir George Akume, are still at loggerheads over the leadership of the party in the state. And there's been a consistent occupation uh, of that secretariat uh, by the police. And this afternoon, I will speak with someone representing one of the parties uh, within the party. We'll see. We're joined by uh, the publicity secretary uh, of APC in Benue State, Mr. Dan Ihomo, and he joins us live from our Abuja studio. Welcome to Lunchtime Politics. Thank you very much, Karoji. Well, I, I, I don't know which other way to de define it, really, because it's parties within a party at this point, and you'll expect that this should not be happening. Your party coasted to victory at the state and national level, so it's meant to be, okay, let's uh, put the ranks together and work uh, for the good of the state from the party. But it looks like that is not happening so far. And that's in spite of uh, those resolutions which we saw uh, come out of the meeting brokered by the traditional rulers. So uh, speak to us today. What is really the bone of contention, Say Homan? Well, uh, it's um, really a pity, but... What we have in, in Benue are certain elements within the party who wants to balkanize the party, destabilize the party, and, and leave, leave the party. If, if you know, we, before 2023, the, our party had only one as a rep member. And we went into the 2022 elections, we worked hard work for the victory, and we were able to win two out of three house, uh, uh, senatorial seats, 10 out of 11, and we also won the governorship. Uh, but since we won these elections, there have been people within uh, the system who wants to, who are trying to destabilize the party. They started with, with the purported suspension of the state chairman of our party, which was done by a political appointee. You, you can link in our case to, to, to the, what has been happened in Kano, where people who, who are not uh, members of our party, you know, claim that they, 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 they suspended the, the, the national chairman of our party. But as well, as we, we thank God that the national secretary of our party came out clearly, you know, and gave direction that our chairman remains the bona fide chairman of our party. And of course, we went, they went to court, and also the court gave us a justice, the Minnesota High Court gave us justice, and just two days ago, the substance case was also uh, struck out by, by the court. Of course, you also know that the, the governor claimed that certain uh, stakeholders from Zone C, you know, asked him to appoint uh, an acting chairman, which he did, which is against the caution of our party. And of course, the court has cleared that matter. But these people have continued to, to destabilize, try to destabilize our party. But of course, party members in the state remain deterred. We are focused and we must continue to put our, our party on the right path. You can, so, not long ago, you heard about where, how, I can hear you. Yeah, you can, you can land on that thought, uh, not long ago. And, 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 and they've been, the people, and the government and these people have been using various means to, to come against, uh, against the party. They, they, they attack our secretariat at will. They use thugs to stop us from carrying out our legitimate duties at the Secretariat. And I, I, I believe that the National Secretary of our party will, will act. If not, one day somebody will wake up and, and say that, uh, from, a, from another party, and say that he has suspended the, 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 the president of our, of our dear country from the party. Right. Well, if care is not uh, taken. 
at, at this rate, really, you can't rule out anything. We've seen very interesting things play out. Uh, just to say that we've also reached out. We had reached out to the representative of uh, the other party within the party, uh, loyal to Governor Hyacinth Alia, but of course we didn't get any representation. But uh, we have to discuss these issues. And I'd like to refer to that meeting uh, of April the 1st. It was an emergency meeting at the Tortive Palace in Boko. And what, what came out of that meeting were some sort of resolutions uh, it would seem. And that, part, that particular meeting was well attended, uh, even though each of the uh, major parties brought uh, one representative to accompany them. And there were resolutions uh, that were reached from that meeting. And I know you are aware of what came out of that meeting. If you could rate the, uh, would I say, the implementation from 1 to 10, a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being obviously not implemented and 10 being well implemented, how would you rate it and what would you say is outstanding? As, as, uh, as, as a party, we work on that, that uh, move by His Royal Highness, the Chief Regent of the United States, the Tortive, as a father, you know, in our state. And we welcomed it. But in terms of implementation, the, uh, let me tell you basically that it's, it's not even 1% has been implemented. If you, you recall, the Chief of Staff to, the, to, to Governor Hassan Alia and Bopo Obiam, at two days after, at a, a burial ceremony in Vandika, said that the party is divided into two, and if you do not follow, anybody who does, of the party does not follow the governor, he, be, he becomes an enemy of, of them, and that he, they even prefer people from the PDP to even members of our party who have so far to put the, 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 the elected governor in, 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 on the seat. And so from the very first day, the chief of staff of the governor shredded whatever, you know, peace uh, pact that the, the two chiefs started for, 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 for peace to return to, to, to our party. You know what concerns me, uh, Mr. Holman, is the fact that we can talk about other states that these things are playing out in, and you wonder that in 2024, uh, when we have other developmental challenges, we'll have really moved beyond this battle between the current governor and perhaps a uh, former governor who's ha who has a role to play at the national level or has some uh, office at the national level. Really, we should be... Uh, gone past all of this. But let's go back to the basics, since this is where we are at now. Who, who would you say is the leader of the party in the state? The leader of the party in the state is the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Senator Dr. Jota Kume, no doubt about it. He has How held so? this party for How long so? together. He... Of course, uh, in, in our party, the, the question of the APC is different from that of the PDP. For our party, the leader of the party is anybody who can galvanize members of the party, sponsor the party, and put the party together. Members of our party choose, choose their own leader. It is not, uh, there's no space in, the, in our constitution where I say that this, this certain person is the leader. But of course, in the PDP, once uh, you become a governor, you become the leader of the party. And so this, that's sometimes people try to mix the two. Our party is very clear that whoever the members of our party believe in, whoever they trust, that has been put together as part of the party, becomes the leader of the party. And Senator Dr. Joe Dakuma has done this over the years. So it's quite vague when you say whoever has been able to uh, pull together the party, sponsor the party, and the rest. Some will literally say, well, since the governor is the one on ground in the party, he is the most powerful in the state at this point, is the number one citizen of the state, then he naturally should be the leader of the party. That is not what our constitution says. In our constitution, members of the party, they choose the leader. Don't forget that the governor of our, uh, of, of our state, seriously, Dr. Hassan Alia, is a new entrance into our party. He's barely one, years, one year in our party. And so, of course, he, he, would have, he might not have known you know, the, the rudiments or people within the system also. And so there is this leader who has kept this party going from day one, and members of the party trust him. And in fact, he was the, the captain that led the ship into victory. The victory we got in Benway, if not for this man, that victory would, not, would have come to pass.
It is because the people of Benue trust him and they believe in him that if he brings, uh, if he brings somebody, the person will perform. The person will, will develop because they know that he loves the state. And so it is because of this, this single man that most of, most of our, our stakeholders, most of our party leaders, you know, followed, joined the, the APC. All right. So I know that people have called on President Tinubu to wade into this. Whether or not he will uh, is another thing entirely. We saw uh, what played out in River State uh, and how things are still playing out right now, even though uh, the president intervened. So you say that your group is being denied access to the party secretariat. And I imagine that without the party secretariat, without your meeting, you haven't really achieved much uh, of recent. So... Uh, how is that swinging, really? Uh, what is your next line of action? Because you are claiming legitimacy. The other group is also claiming legitimacy, and they have access uh, to the state secretariat. Let me make it very clear that we were elected for a term of four years, just like any other person was elected, the governor and all the House of Representatives and so, we were elected for a, a, a term of four years. And so there is no other... Uh, escort of the party in the state than the one led by our chairman, Comrade Austin Agada. And the new secretary of our party have also, you know, come out clear on this matter. And so there are no two ways about it. There's no way somebody, a governor can just wake up or somebody can just wake up and appoint escort members of the party. The question of our party is very clear. Our party, the APC, has rules and procedures for everything that is done within the party. And so it's laughable when somebody says that uh, there's another school. There's none. The, even the courts are clear on this. Well, it's quite interesting uh, what is playing out, really. And I was asking that what is the next line of action for you if you're still being denied? We saw what played out at the weekend. So what is the next line of action for you? You seem to have the federal might. That is quite clear. But then when it comes to the for politics us, of the state, for us we're, it's quite different. So what's next? For us, we are not deterred. We are, we are, going, we are, we are going to our secretary to carry out our military job. And we have rights under the law to access our offices and carry out our job. But you're currently, you're currently in Abuja, Mr. Ehoman. So how are, you, how are you going back to the states? What is going to be different this time around? We don't want violence. And that's why I'm asking this question. I just visited Abuja. I'm in Benue. I just visited Abuja. Benue is my state. Nobody can push me away from that state. That is where I belong. And my office is there. I'm a citizen, free citizen of the state, and I stay in Benue. The only thing is that I've not had access to my office. And I want to call on the IG, the Inspector General of Police, to make provision to secure us because we are normal citizens. And should be able to have our, our access to our offices and do our job. <sighs> Okay, I think we'll just uh, keep watching as things play out. And uh, again, to reiterate that now is not the time for violence. There's enough uh, security challenges in Benue states to contend with. And um, having this one on the political scale uh, is not something we want at all. But we'd like to thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dan Iomu, uh, as APC Publicity Secretary uh, in Benue State. Of course, that's of the uh, Mr. Austin Agada uh, executive, thank you so much for your time on the show this afternoon. And just to say that we reached out to the uh, other group and, uh, of course, it didn't send a representative. Thank you so much, Mr. Ehoman. Thank you very much, Karadi.